All right, here's the plan for today. Uh, I have this carry bag. It's been, uh, it's old. I've had it for a long time. So I've been looking, trying to find a new stand bag slash carry bag. So today we're going in here, non-sponsored video by the way, I'm gonna buy a bunch of carry bags to try to find the best one. I'm, and I'm, I'm gonna pay for them all. I'm gonna keep the one I like, cause I'm paying for it. And then um, stick around to the end of the video cause I'm gonna give the others away and maybe you could get one of them with some other goodies in it that I'll include. So I'll give you that info later, but first let's go see how many bags we can get our hands on. Uh, I need my wallet. I don't know how I get talked into buying everything, but uh, we're gonna do it. For carrying, I'll, I'd care about light, and uh, that's pretty much it if you're carrying. And comfortability, what's lighter? Uh, we have six bags, I'm only buying five. I'm gonna keep one, I'm gonna give the others away. So I've gotta make a decision here, which one to lose. Sun Mountain, super light, we're keeping that. Uh, this is the um, Titleist Carbon, four carbon. That's super light too, so we wanna keep that. I've got the Ping Hoofer, this is super light, we're keeping that, I love the simple look. And this is Callaway, Borderline, Mizuno. I mean, that just looks solid, I think that's, so far one of the best. And then we have TaylorMade. All right, so we're gonna lose either TaylorMade or Callaway here. Um, okay, uh, TaylorMade's out. We're gonna keep Callaway. These are the five we're going with. And I'm gonna give four of them away. Stay tuned. If you want one of these bags, you have to follow me on Instagram. Uh, I'll leave a link in the video description below. That's where I'm gonna be giving away four of these. <laughs> uh, and so there'll be more information to come later on in the video, how that's gonna go down. First, we gotta check them out, review them, see which one I like the best. Woo, that was an expensive trip, I'll tell you that. Okay, I'm gonna weigh them all. I'll put them in order of lightest, heaviest to lightest. So, gotta weigh myself first. They're all coming out exactly the same weight. I don't believe it. Well, I mean, it makes sense. They're optimized the best they can be. So, that's cool. They're under three pounds, all of them. It's like 2.6 pounds is what I'm calculating here after I take everything out. Titleist bag. This is the Titleist four carbon fiber. They all have, uh, that's a four pocket top. One, two, three, four. I like that. The coolest, and go on the website and look at the specs on each one of these bags. I'll leave links in the video description below so you can really deep dive into everything they have. The coolest thing about this bag is inside this major pocket here is a small pocket here. It's not for like your keys and stuff. This actually gets you into the bottom of your bag. So when you drop something, you could just unzip it down here and fish around down here and get something out. I do like that. It's the only one that has that accessibility of all these bags. The rest of it is pretty basic water bottle, handle, stuff and more stuff and it has a top for when it rains ping hoofer too uh classic ping bag good looking um good looking bag this is uh well i guess this one too no it doesn't no it does yeah this one okay my bad this one also has that uh pocket into the um into the bottom of your bag all right, so they, they're smart too, I like that. The only downside about the ping bag is uh, there was no top for when it rains. So they did not include those. So I would say the other bags are technically lighter because they all have a hood for when it rains. This one does not. Sun Mountain bag classic. 
This was the only one where the straps bothered me. This was twisted. I had to take it off, untwist it and reattach it. So there you go. Let me just double check, make sure they don't have that. They, they do have a top here and uh, no other zipper in there. Nice looking bag. This has um, a spot, a glove Velcro patch. So uh, when you're uh, just, you know, done playing, you could boom, you can just put your glove right there on the outside, helps it air out on its own. That's a cool feature of these bags. Again, four top, Sun Mountain, classic bag, water bottle pouch, good to go. Uh, pens and pe pens, pencils up here. You can attach them there. There you go. It says it's 2.5. I got 2.6. Who knows? Callaway bag, classic looking black Callaway bag. This looks really good. Uh, nice water bottle. You're good to go. Um, cushion for your back. Uh, strap for other stuff, accessories. Good here, got a little scorecard holder there, zipper there, everything you imagine. You've got a top here. It's also 2.6 was the weight I got. Towel, whatever, you're good to go. Good looking bag, Callaway bag. One I did not expect to get in the store, but it, uh, was pretty fancy and I liked it. So it's among the ones that I consider to be the best bags is your Mizuno carry bag. These straps, nice cushions on these straps, super light cushion. And uh, like everything it's got going on here, I love the color. These are all somewhat water resistant. They're not waterproof. It has a top, you're good to go. No bottom of bag accessibility, but that's fine. I'm fine with that. 2.6 LBS, We've got a strap there. This also has the glove Velcro strip here on the bottom of that, more on the bottom of that bag. So you can just smack your glove there, let it air out as you go. You got this. I like this vertical zipper here on the back as opposed to here. The reason why is because for me, when it's on, it's a lot easier to, to zip like this versus going side to side. Let me show you. It's a little harder to do that. That's a little more difficult than this. That's easy. Uh, I just want we'll to see how I, you know, you got these cushions here. They're okay. I don't know. I don't know how I like those yet. To adjust it as we go, as we load up. Each bag, and I thought I was cool with the uh, Titleist getting the carbon fiber legs, okay? But every bag has carbon fiber legs, carbon fiber legs, carbon fiber legs, and Mizuno also carbon fiber. Everybody's doing carbon fiber legs. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We cannot properly test a golf bag unless we do it with our own personal gear in there because it's just not gonna work. Let's start the experimental testing out process. All right, here we go, the big reveal. Now, I'm gonna give four of these away, so be sure to follow me on Instagram, link in the video description below, because that is where uh, that's gonna happen and we're gonna start the giveaway on Monday, April 26th, 2021. So if you miss out, it's too bad for you. Wh which one's your favorite? Make sure you comment below. Let me know which one your favorite is. So I'm gonna start with my least favorite and I'm gonna tell you why as we go. So in fifth place, sorry, but Sun Mountain is the fifth place bag. Here is the deal with this. Uh, typically, I've been a huge Sun Mountain fan and love it. Super comfortable, light, they're all the same weight, easy to slide on and off. Here's the problem with Sun Mountain. When I grab the bag, this leg grabs my leg the worst of all of them. It, and I don't like that. Now, 
this is a personal preference because we all put our bag on differently. Typically, I like to get my leg in here, kick it out, and throw my bag on. But when it's fully weighted with clubs, that grabs my leg. I don't like it. So I'm sorry, Sun Mountain, you're out. Even though I do love the Velcro glove uh, strap for my glove. Put your glove on these. However, this is on the wrong side of the bag for my liking because you could strap your glove on and it could fall off as you walk down the fairway. So good idea, wrong execution. Other than that, it's an awesome, it is an awesome walking bag. Just that leg thing I have a problem with. Fourth place is, man, I thought Titleist was gonna be the winner. I'm sorry, fourth place Titleist. For basic, this is probably the most comfortable on my back. However, the legs kick out even farther. And so when I do that, it also grabs my leg. It's not as, it doesn't uh, hook it as badly because it has a better foot piece. The other one has a kind of a hook on it. So it really grabbed my leg, but they come out a little too far. It probably gives the bag a little more stability from tipping over. That's fine. However, I don't, I see, I don't, I don't like that. It feels like an animal's on my leg. I don't like animals on my leg, but I, it's the most comfortable of all of them and the easiest to get on and off. And it's a sleek looking bag. I mean, this looks like a fighter jet. It's my, well, probably my favorite looking, but sorry, fourth place. We're gonna give this away. Third place, right here, Callaway. Sorry, Callaway. I love the bag. It's, um, it's just, it's, here's the thing. It's a great bag, fantastic bag. It's just kind of plain for me. It's just there, everything's there. There's no excitement to it and there's nothing negative to say about it. it slips on and off really well. I like that the leg gets me sometimes but it just nicks me, it's not that bad, I know. Uh, and it has everything you would want, but it just, eh, there's no pizzazz to it, which I like a little bit of that. Super comfortable, probably the second most comfortable and the second most easy to get on and off. Callaway bag, up for grabs. What is it, Ping or Mizuno? Which one is number one? One of these is gonna be, could be yours. All right, both of these, fantastic bag. Neither one of them hook on my leg, which is great barely gets it that's i love that super love that they're both super comfortable they're both uh this one's harder to get on and off because of the cushiony strap but it's a lot of cushion so that's cool i like that ping i mean this they're just they've been known for classic perfect bags for a long time this one is just excellent it does have a little velcro here for your glove super tiny spot right there so not bad uh, just minimize, minimized uh, it's got everything you would want perfect for walking really good and this was a difficult decision to choose between the two I love them both very very much and the winning bag the bag I'm going to keep in first place which is it I'm keeping the Mizuno bag. This is not only the my favorite, I, I think it's the best bag, carry walking bag ever made. I love the vertical strap. I love the Velcro patch here for my glove, big strip right on the front side. So when I'm walking, my glove is right there. The vertical, I mean, that vertical pouch is, inge is genius. This is great. Everything's perfect, water bottle. I mean, this is my favorite bag of all time. So I'm keeping this. Sorry guys, but maybe you like this. This is a fantastic bag too. So all these, I'm gonna give all these away. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. And if you wanna see my driver review where I bought every driver, click right over here. Love you guys. See you soon. Peace out.